This is now my 24th year at TFAF, and every year we struggle to bring a wide range of things, things that will cover the entire period of sculpture that we deal in, which is actually almost 200 years. So the earliest piece I've brought to this fair this time is this sculpture by Fasher, and it's of the fallen angel, Satan. And you can see, that there he is, biting his fingernails. He's been thrown out of heaven. His sword has been broken by God. And he's just realizing what a huge mistake he's made by being thrown out of heaven. So from the Fischer of 1833, we now come to this piece here by Dubois. Again, it's inspired by a religious story, the return of the prodigal son. And as you can see, there is the young man who's been out spending all his father's money and having a very good time coming home now and begging his father for forgiveness. And there is his father taking him in his arms and saying, son, I forgive you. So Auguste Rodin is a name that almost everyone knows. And here we have probably his most well-known piece, The Thinker. It's a beautiful, exceptional cast. Uh, it is, of course, reassuringly expensive, but then it's always nice to have something to aim for in life. So bringing us forward to the 20th century, I bought two works by the two leading British sculptors, Henry Moore and Barbara Hepworth. Both of these works are absolutely classic, and if you're a collector of either sculptor's work, you'll be able to recognize them straight away. Staying in Britain, and also with a female sculptress, the final piece I have here is by Emily Young, direct stone carver. She takes a single block of rock and just carves straight into it. This particular piece was created specially for TFAF 2022. 